This is going to be a little bit of some deep diving into news that just recently broke. Not long after we learned about this recent Amazon Galactic Odyssey collection that is going to be coming out from Amazon. There's going to be five different sets of these, each one of these based off of a theme of one of the planets that the Transformers have visited in Cybertronian history in the past. And like I said, after they did that release where we learned about par the Paradon Medic 2-pack with Ratchet and, and Lifeline, they were like, hey, in 29 days, we're going to reveal another one. And they showed us this little teaser, this little, little teaser image that was just like, oh, what's going on here? Who are these characters? And it was these little silhouettes, and it's like, come back for more. And it's these little white silhouettes of characters. Now, you look carefully at the characters, and you go, hmm... Who are these guys? Who are these guys? Who are the, who who are these guys? And what could they be used uh, for these these two packs, these box sets that we're going to be getting from Amazon? And the first thing I want to note, because people have been looking at these carefully and going like, okay, like the proportions don't match how these toys that they're supposed to be based on. And what we're looking at here, we're looking at what is potentially an Earthrise Bumblebee and or Cliff Jumper, a Earthrise Sideswipe and a Earth Were Eyes uh, Trailbreaker. But the one thing that people have to understand is that this isn't actually silhouettes of the characters of their toys. It's actually taken from a piece of Earth Rise box art. And I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna try to fit it in the image for the podcast and you're gonna see that these three silhouettes actually come from this one piece of Earth Rise box art of Bumblebee, Sideswipe, and, and trail breaker along with optimus prime and the crew uh just checking out some planets again it's some traditional control art from Earthrise, and they're using that as part of the hype now does that mean that these three characters are going to be part of these box sets we don't know but let's take a deep dive into it if potentially that could be the case now first off what if these three are the next box set that these three do come together what is the tie that these three have together and the closest match that I could give is if you go like back to Transformers' lore when 3H Entertainment used to do the Universe comic books. This was like early Bacon before Fun Publication. Uh, they used to do these Universe comic books and in issue number two, the characters of Trailbreaker, Sunstreaker, and Tap Out were all together inside the cauldron in the battle arena inside Unicron. It's complicated stuff. You go back and read those books. They're wacky as hell. Um, but so it's a possibility that those three could be together in something like that. But that's kind of far-fetched. And we've pretty much established that these there probably won't be three packs. These are all supposed to be two packs. So we're going to throw out that. And this teaser here doesn't mean the next one's a three pack. But let's just look individually. What are these molds? Who could they potentially be? And where do they fit in the other four planets that we have left after Paradron? Because we have Dominus, which is the planet that's pretty much Planet Master. It's the Headmaster planet. We have Botropolis, which is the Go, Go, Go Bots planet. We have Biofera, which is what I assume, I could be wrong on this one. We don't really have any information, but I think it's going to be a beast planet. And then we have Micron, which is the planet Micro, which could be a Minicon planet or a Micromaster planet. Uh, Micron really is its planet Micro, which should be a Micromaster planet from Transformer Victory and Zone lore. But essentially the theme with that one would be small Transformers. So let's look at the first one. We got Bumblebee, this silhouette. So what are repaints of Bumblebee? We have tons of different repaints of Bumblebee through lore. We already have our Bug Bite. We already have uh, the Hubcab. We already have the cliff jumper. So what is left after that? We pretty much have like of the traditional repaints. We have tap out, which was a cliff jumper repaint uh, done in like a turquoise kind of color, greenish forest green turquoise uh, kind of color scheme of the cliff jumper. We have glyph, which was the um, essentially a bumblebee done in like a dark blue female character. And then we had bumper, which Kind of isn't either mold, it's kind of its own thing, but was also one of those. And then you could get into the European weird stuff like Carrera and all of that, and Vokes, 
But at the end of the day, those are like the three key ones that I feel come more to the front. And if I had to pick one, um, I don't know. I'd, I'd lean more to they want to probably do more female characters so I could see Glyph getting a new toy after all these years, which would be pretty cool, in my opinion. I think that'd be pretty cool to have Glyph get a new toy and a blue repaint of that Bumblebee mold would be pretty awesome, to be honest. So I'd be pretty hyped for it. But then where would Glyph fit into that? Does Glyph fit into a, a Dominus, Planet Master kind of situation? Biofera with the beasts? Not really. Planet Micro? Mm, she is a mini bot. Maybe if she's paired up with a whole bunch of Micro Masters in, the, in, a, in a box set, that would kind of work. I dig that. I could see her with Planet Micro. Kind of works with that one. The GoBot Planet? Mm, I don't know. Maybe not that one. But so that that there's that one right there. Then we look at again. We have the sideswipe, and it's a, it's going to be obviously an Earthrise sideswipe, assuming that the control art that's being used reflects the mold. Uh, so then, what do we have that could be repainted into that sideswipe? Well, we already have, you know, uh, Tiger Tracks. We already have Red Alert that are probably going to be you know taken care of in other areas. Obviously, Tiger Tracks is the siege one, but I don't think they'll do a Tiger Tracks Earthrise so soon. Uh, but then that leaves stuff like Clampdown, Deep Cover, potentially maybe those, um, maybe G2 Sideswipe, maybe G2 GoBots Sideswipe. And if you see where I'm getting at here, if we get a G2 GoBots Sideswipe, which pretty much is kind of like a Deep Cover, re uh, deep cover uh, repaint, now we have something that could fit into the Botropolis Go 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 Bots kind of planet thing. And again, keep in mind, guys, I'm doing like a deep dive into this and trying to make sense of things. But who knows with that one? A lot of different molds that could be done with those those Lambors, those side swipes. You know, there's so many characters in Transformers lore that has that. I mean, you could do a crazy repaint of that as uh, as Armada Wheeljack even. You know, so there's so much that could be done of that, but I'm just kind of like looking at the surface and seeing what potentially Hasbro could do. And then the last one we got here, it's a trail breaker, trail cutter, earth rise mold. Who could that be? And that's probably the most complicated one of them all because we already have our hoist. So that already is put aside, but then it's like, well, where do you go from there? Do you do a diaclone kind of homage? the blue colors or the yellow colors, two different color schemes that they had in the past. Those characters have never really been given names in uh, official Transformers lore. And not to mention, where would they fit on this tree here? Would a new character using that Trailbreaker mold fit in the Dominus planet thing with Headmasters? Doesn't really make sense. Or in the same thing with like Planet Micro or Biosphera, assuming that Biosphera is playing up the Beast thing. Maybe I could be wrong with that. That's probably the most difficult one to predict. And that's the one I'd probably want to hear what people have to take from that one, especially. Uh, it's also me kind of just looking at the alt mode and going, well, if you don't look at traditional repaints of the character, then maybe it's stuff that could be just be using that design. Like, could you see like a Detrius, you know, kind of... Uh, you know, junkie on character repaint from that, like, you know, generals, just general shapes of that alt mode, you know, pickup trucks and transformer lore, you know, are we talking ox slash iron hide from car robots, robots in disguise, you know, the, the spy changer, like there's so many different like ways that this could be tackled at the same time. It could be like, is it maybe energon iron hide? You know, which I'm pretty sure a lot of people wouldn't be too crazy about. Cause you know, there's kind of similarities there in a lot of ways. You know, it's also that kind of van pickup truck, has the little thing, hang, you know, above his head, little headlight kind of stuff, shoulder cannon weapon, kind of similarities there, aka, you know, Ironhide, Energon Ironhide, aka Roadbuster from Superlink, so uh, could be him, but if it is uh, that character, where does he fit on this tree here? Is he part of Planet Beast Biosphere? Is he part of the Micros, the Planet Masters? You know, it gets complicated. So... That's a little tough one, but that's what I wanted to do with this segment because this isn't really, you know, facts or information. It's just kind of trying to piece together and take all the parts of Transformers lore and figure out what these three characters could potentially be. I mean, we'll find out in 29 days if it's not leaked early by some YouTube reviewer, but 
it's very interesting that we're having more of these and and I like this stuff because it dives deeper into the lore and it probably gives more opportunities for again weird characters that would not normally find themselves in retail but would have found themselves in Bacon exclusives in San Diego Comic-Con exclusives places like that where there's just so many slots and they just want to fill them in with crazy characters let me know what you think about this who do you think it is who do you want it to be um I mean, it's again, these are all going to be two packs, so we're only we're always missing half of the story here with this. But I'm really excited about it. This is really cool stuff. I mean, already that that Ratchet Lifeline was was a day one purchase kind of thing. Uh, dig that a lot. Really cool. People saw already. I, I did my little post on Instagram uh, with my little Lifeline Paradron Medic collection. So I'm going to have a new member join it soon. But yeah, awesome stuff, really cool. Let me know what you think. Which characters do you think it's going to be in the future?